We love our pets, and one way we tend to show it is by giving our pets treats, because who doesn't like a nice snack? While on occasion a treat is just fine, it's important to know that food doesn't equal love. And while it might not be our intention, we're adding to a growing problem in our pets, obesity. Having your pet at a healthy weight reduces their risk of disease and injury and contributes to a better quality and longer life. But how do you know if your pet's weight is healthy? A healthy weight isn't simply a number on a scale. It's about healthy body composition. Working with your veterinarian, make an honest assessment of your pet's health and weight. Focus on what matters your pet's good health and long life. It's not about you, it's about your pet's health. Keeping your pet at a healthy weight lowers their risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, respiratory disease, kidney disease, and certain forms of cancer. Now, the big question is, how do I get my pet slim and trim? It's probably no surprise, but there's no one-size-fits-all approach or magic remedy to help your pet shed excess pounds. What works for one pet doesn't necessarily work for another. But to put it simply, weight loss involves reducing your pet's caloric intake and increasing their activity level to burn more calories. Work with your veterinarian as a team to develop realistic goals for reducing your pet's weight in a healthy manner. It may help to slow your pet's food consumption by using a special bowl or food puzzle that makes it harder for them to gulp their food, but be careful to keep the total daily amount of food within an acceptable amount. Consult with your veterinarian about the best food choice for your pet's condition. The recommended feeding amount printed on the pet food label might not be appropriate for your pet. Eliminate table scraps and fattening high calorie treats. And don't give in to the sad, begging eyes. Like I said before, a lot of times the problem of obesity comes from us just wanting to show our pets love. And well, there are many better ways than food and treats to show your pet you love them, such as quality time and play. What your pet wants most, more than food or treats, is your attention, interaction, and affection. Being more active and living a healthier lifestyle benefits the entire family. Find activities you enjoy that include your pet and the journey will be more enjoyable for all of you. Whenever your pet begs or cries for food, try taking them for a walk or playing with them. Positive rewards of praise, petting, and play are crucial components of a healthy relationship and lifestyle. The best play for your dog is a brisk walk. 15 to 30 minutes per day is adequate for most. Bigger or more active breeds may require up to an hour or more of vigorous activity per day to remain healthy and mentally sharp. Cats like to hunt and chase, so try hiding their food or moving it further away from their sleeping area. Engage your cat with appropriate and safe cat toys like paper bags, flashlights, balls, or feather toys. Experiment with toys and understand that what your cat finds interesting to play with today may be boring tomorrow. We love our pets and we want them to be as happy as can be and to really feel that they're loved. So what do we do? We give them treats, we feed them from the table, and sometimes we might even go so far as letting them lick our plate. But the quickest way to our pet's heart isn't through food. By trading food for affection, you can quickly start overfeeding your pet, causing them to pack on the pounds. By working with your veterinarian, feeding them the appropriate amount of food, and spending quality, active time with your pet, you will not only help them battle the bulge, you will give them the best chance for a longer, healthier life. For more information on pets and pet health, visit avma.org.